Today I'm chatting to well-known actress Melanie Dubois about her experience with in vitro fertilization. The first case was documented in 1978 and the physiologist who developed the treatment, Robert Edwards, was awarded the Nobel Prize. Although the procedure has been refined over the years, it still remains a complex and emotional experience. Melanie Dubois had a difficult journey to motherhood and her experience with in vitro fertilization has inspired many women who find themselves in the same situation. Tell me about your journey trying to fall pregnant. Oh, it was a long, hard journey. Um, it started off with ectopic pregnancies. I had two ectopic pregnancies. So my only option was to do in vitro. It was a major thing on my womanhood, you know, because you feel it's something natural that's supposed to happen. And now all of a sudden you can't. Was it a difficult decision going for in vitro? I took a few months to, to really decide whether this was really for me, if it was meant to be, and decided to do it. What does going through the process actually entail? Do you have to take hormones, um, inject yourself? It's needles, it's a lot of hormones. It affects your personality because um, it's, it's a constant up and down. You don't know what you're going to feel, if you're going to cry, if you're going to laugh the next day. It's, it's a lot of pain. Um, your relationships with people are strained. When eventually Roxy was born, Everybody thinks, wow, this is awesome, it's amazing. But for me, that was the toughest time because I think that was the first time I ever thought of divorce. <laughs> There's so much strain that is put on your relationship that you don't sleep, your emotions are still up and down. And now the hard work starts. Exactly. The Cape Fertility Clinic has a fantastic record of success with fertility treatment. Dr. Tam Tam Matabese is a sought-after specialist with years of experience in in vitro fertilization. Psychological aspects are very important for a couple undergoing in vitro fertilization. Firstly, a couple has to understand that the hormonal medications themselves can cause some fluctuations in the mood of the woman that can affect the relationship between the partners. And also, couples are paying for a procedure that might have a 30% success rate so that psychologically can affect a lot of patients. In vitro treatment isn't a process that is entered into lightly. While it's physically and mentally quite strenuous, it can also be incredibly rewarding with a new life. In vitro fertilization involves a woman getting hormonal treatment so that her ovaries will make a lot of eggs. The eggs are then retrieved outside of the body and on that day the eggs are fertilized with sperm in the laboratory to make the little embryos of the early stages of a baby. Those um, embryos will be grown in the laboratory for about three to five days. And after that, they will be inserted back into the woman's uterine cavity. She then waits the longest 10 to 12 days of her life. She has a blood test. And if it's positive, we're all happy because it would mean she is pregnant. How did you feel when you found out it was successful? I was so, so happy. I was like jumping up and down and singing and dancing. I phoned all my family. It was the best news ever. However, I must say, I had, I had a difficult pregnancy. Up until three months when she, after she was born, was a, it was a tough time. But thereafter, Roxy made it easy to be a mom. And if you ask me now, would I do it again? Would you do it again? Definitely.